Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you about reflection. Um, nice little sort of introduction, basically building on stuff that we've done at G, uh, Key Stage 3. Um, by the end of this, you should be able to define what reflect, what re ooh, that should say reflection, not refraction. Um, you should be able to define what reflection is and give me some diagrams for it. So you should be pretty familiar with reflection, it happens every day whenever you look in a mirror. Um, it occurs whenever light hits a surface. Um, and it's caused by light bouncing off of it. Um, you can think of it like a table tennis ball, light comes in, goes boing, and comes back off at a different angle. Um, now when you look in a mirror, that's when you see reflection at its most obvious because you get a nice pretty picture of yourself. But what about more generally? And um, that's where we're going to start to get a bit more IGCSE. So you're probably familiar with a diagram like this. Um, reflection happens when light uh, often hits a mirror, and we often draw mirrors like this. So it's a long line across, and then these little tick marks uh, like that. Now I'm going to say that the light is going to hit at this point, and wherever light hits something, we're going to draw an imaginary line called a normal. And a normal is always at 90 degrees to the surface that it's being hit at. Um, so if I had a line like this, I would measure 90 degrees and that would be my normal there. Um, that was a bit weird. Um, so I'm going to have a ray that comes in, and I call that the incident ray. Incident means incoming. And after it's hit the mirror, you should be familiar with the idea that we get reflection. So there's another ray comes off from the normal, and that's called the reflected ray, the ray that leaves. Um, in physics, we always measure angles um, when we're dealing with light. It's going to be a recurring theme. And whenever we measure an angle, it's always between the normal and the ray. It doesn't really matter what circumstances are. We pretty much always measure between the normal and the ray. Um, so here, the angle of incidence is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. The angle of reflection is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. A really, really common mistake that I see students making all the time is to measure this angle here between the ray and the mirror. Do not do that. You will never get marks for it. You will always end up in trouble for it. So always measure between the normal and the ray that you are interested in. Now what you should remember from QSH3 is that when we do this, we find that whatever we're dealing with, if it's a good mirror, we will have that the angle of incidence is 100% equal to the angle of reflection every single time. So if you imagine three light rays coming in, you're going to get three light rays coming out, all at the same angles. And that explains how we get pictures in a mirror. So... Why don't we see reflections everywhere then? Why, do, why is the world not just like a big old hall of mirrors? Well, that's because this is only true if we have a nice smooth surface. What about a rough surface? And microscopically, this is what pretty much everything in the world looks like. A sheet of paper looks like this, even your desks really look like this. Well, in that instance, you might be able to see it now. Imagine these three rays coming in and just think about what's going to happen. Well, this is what's going to happen. For the first ray, this red one, there's my normal, because it's at 90 degrees. Same here, same here. Now, can you see that for all these rays, the normal is at a completely different angle? So they're all still obeying the law of reflection, but uh, because the normals are at different angles, we don't have this nice ordered pattern anymore. Instead, we have scattering. So scattering is the idea that light's going off in all different directions. Um, and the effect is that you might have a nice ordered picture on one side, but on the other side, you're going to get it all messed up and jiggled about, um, and you won't see anything. And that's what happens when you look um, in any rough surface. The light from uh, your face, say, is hitting the wall in front of you, but it doesn't uh, come back in an ordered fashion. And that's why we don't see regular reflections. Okay, so what do you need to know for uh, IGCSE? You must be able to label all the diagrams correctly, including normal, uh, which must be at 90 degrees to the surface, instant ray, reflected ray, and correctly mark the angles. You must know that the angle of instance is equal to the angle of reflection. Uh, this is called the law of reflection. And you must know that if you have a rough surface, it will still reflect 
but because it's rough, you won't see an image. Now, in the lesson, I'm going to be teaching you a couple of techniques of verifying this. Um, so that's going to be the first thing that we are working on. But for now, I'd like to make sure you to make sure that you've got some notes on this and that you really understand all these things. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the lesson. But otherwise, I will see you then.